sorry, Daniel. Just gonna hit your blood pressure again. Daniel? Daniel? Can I get some help, please? Daniel, are you with me? Hi, Percy. Oh, it's Daniel. I think he's unresponsive. Uh, he chest pain for an hour. I just came in to do his observations, but he's not responding okay. to me now. You're not getting any, anything from the doctor. Daniel? Dino. Daniel, it's Fiona here. One of the doctors. Daniel? No, okay. Nothing in his airway. Opening up his airway and look, there's some feel. So we've thought of all our H's, we're now thinking of T's. Um, thrombosis, this man had a PE, but well, there's no sign of it. I'm not sure of the history, so we'll start looking for any of the history sheets. Do you know if any history sheets are available for this man or anyone who knows oh, him? Oh, behind you on the bench. So we're thinking of PE, we're thinking of a possible heart attack that may have precipitated this. Thank you okay. very much. And actually, this is a 61-year-old man who has come in with sexual crossing chest pain. Okay. So a heart attack is the most likely cause that's happened here. Turn. Okay, he's not breathing. Um, so this is a cardiac arrest. Um, I'm going to start chest compressions. Can you go and get some help for me, please, and call an ambulance and bring back, you know, the red grab bag that we keep outside in reception? Sure. Excuse me. Um, help. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm the ward manager. How can I help you? What's happened? Hello, Tracy. Okay, um, this is Errol, and he's just collapsed. I haven't looked at his notes yet, actually. Um, but he's collapsed, and he appears to be in cardiac arrest. Can you get out the defib, please? There's, there's an automatic defib in there. 